Hi everyone, uh, it's David here from Osler Images. Uh, I'm a wedding and portrait photographer um, from Down Under, basically. I ha I, I'm starting to get a reasonable following now on YouTube and I wanted to basically share something that I've been starting to do for, well, for a, a, quite a while now, is, is offering what I call fusion video, which is doing video and stills at the same time. Uh, and it's really made my uh, company grow uh, and a lot of couples are actually buying that add-on. What I'm doing is obviously most of them are uh, just hiring me for my still work um, but as an add-on uh, I offer to do a three to five minute uh, highlight video of the day now it's not intended to be a documentary style edit if that's what they want I'll pass it on to a videographer um, but basically I'm just giving them an added extra that, uh, that basically has helped my company grow uh, incredibly and I just thought I might share it with you guys as well. So this video clearly may not be worthwhile if, if you are a uh, full-on videographer but it certainly might help if you're a photographer or you're just starting out in video and you're trying to learn something like Final Cut and how a wedding day is put together. So I thought that I'd show you that uh, today. Now basically what I have to do though, when I'm starting this I need to find music first and I found this site um, that I is really good actually and it's it's actually called epidemic sound um, and I've paid for this like uh, everything that I actually use um, I've paid for I'm not sponsored by anyone um, so I do purchase everything that I use for my company um, so this was one that I actually found and I paid for uh, the great part about using this epidemic sound is that um, YouTube never flags it basically as a copyright uh, strike because you linked in it, it's actually got my username at the top and it says a YouTube subscription so when I share this on YouTube it never gets picked as a copyright uh, error or something like that where it's flagged as copyright um, so it works fantastically well I can't remember what I paid for it was 250 or 300 dollars for a year I'm not sure uh, but it certainly was well worth it um, and the good thing is too that you can set playlists like you'll see at the moment I've got Jody and Troy here and then I just basically find uh, the music that um, I want to put on and, and you can click on the play and then it will start playing it um, for you um, so you'll hear here the music start to play it also tells you down the bottom there that it's 3 minutes 35 seconds as well Now the good thing is though that you can download the MP4 but you can also download the streams as well which is fantastic because the streams are things like just the bass, the drums, the musical instruments without the voice. So if you want to do that you can do that and then add it at the beginning of the song so you can make the song last longer than it would have normally which is a great thing to do or you can even add those in the middle of your uh, clips as well but yeah I highly recommend it. Um, you can just click on albums and search for albums through here. Um, you can look at categories and find what you want to through here. Like if you wanted just vocals, you can bring it up. You know, there's rock, romance. And then when you click in each one of those albums, um, there's multiple um, songs in that and you can even search for ones that are similar to what you like. Uh, it, it's incredibly extensive. Uh, so that's what I use to find the music because the first thing I need to do is to download music. Um, I won't use music that basically is illegal. I'll always want to use music that I've paid for um, because then people can share it and I can share it and I don't have to worry about getting copyright strikes or being sued and things like that. Um, the second thing that I'll do is, um, well all the images are imported into uh, this wedding folder. Basically I just use it by the name of the couple. Um, I put A6300 and A6500 files inside this folder. Um, there's drone footage inside here. I use the Maverick Pro. Um, I use GH5 as well and there's also audio files. Uh, I do mic up uh, and run um, separate feeds in with things like the speeches, um, the ceremony, uh, I mic up the bride, I mic up the groom, and I'll show you that as we start to build up this, um, this um, little uh, video as we go on. So that, that's a great way of working, so be organized at the beginning. Uh, but then when you're basically going into Final Cut though, you have to be a bit more careful because everything basically comes in um, full so you'll see the whole lot come up which is because I make an album called Jody and Troy I then have to drag everything into that folder and let it render now there could be 100 200 files even more sometimes um, so I like to use keywords so basically what I will set is this keywords here um, I'll set them up which says wedding groom bride formals reception uh, drone bcam and audio etc and then basically all I'll do is I'll go through all of these 
uh, images up the top and then I'll just select it and hit the appropriate keyword. It then goes into the keyword over the left hand side over here which is a much better way of being organized. That way if I'm looking for audio I'll know where to find it. I can just click on the audio tab. Uh, if I'm looking for anything to do with the bride I can, prep, I can click there and I know that I'm only going to find the bride prep uh, through that section as well. The other thing I do as well is often go through and find areas that I'm going to use and you can see that by the yellow lines uh, in here and all I'll do is I'll just start to press play uh, with the space bar. My favorite quality about Troy is and I'll just press the I button to go the point in and the uh, the O to go out. Definitely how he makes me laugh every day we're laughing. So that's how I find all the bits of the clips that I want to use and I'll do that before just to find bits that I actually want and that saves me a bit of time as well. Uh, now the actual, um, oh sorry about that, I hope it's not too noisy. Um, the actual um, video itself is always non-linear. Uh, I like to work non-linear with my videos rather than linear because I do like it if it's a sort of a bit all over the place. I think it adds much more interest um, than you know, just sort of showing it from start to end. You can work that way if you like, and that's more of a doc edit. Uh, like I said, I'm not interested in that. I, I want to make it more like a, a video highlight uh, reel, something like you'd see when you go to the movies or something like that. That's how I sell it. Um, but I'll take you through how it's actually built anyway. So first of all, I'll bring the, vi the audio in. You can see there's two audio lots down here. There's this one down the bottom, which is just a, a music... Uh, that song, uh, I think it's called Silky Air, and it's just some strings and stuff like that. Um, basically, this is because I want it to be nice and soft for the beginning entrance. And then halfway through the song through here, I add the second song in, which is more into, you know, pop sort of sound um, with singing, etc. And I've overlapped them a little bit to enable it to sort of join together seamlessly. Uh, but I usually start off by something like this, which is giving their name, something like that. So you can see here it's just introducing them. Um, then it will go basically to uh, this drone shot, which um, they wanted, they've got an Alfa Romeo here that um, they wanted me to shoot with them driving towards the uh, wedding venue. So I've put that in at the beginning. Um, just a bit of fun. Now again, I'm only shooting for a few seconds for each clip. And then I'm, I've actually moved over to the father of the bride actually talking here. Um, and basically, he's mic'd up uh, through the DJ. I've got an on-camera mic um, on the GH5 here. And I'll, I'll take out that audio later. And I just synced it up actually this time. Sometimes I use Pluralize, but I didn't use that this time. I just used Final Cut to um, sync the audio and video together. I then just took out the on-camera audio and replaced it with the feed from the DJ uh, that I actually recorded into the Zoom H1. Um, so the bride's, the, the father's talking here, and I'll only put that on for a few seconds. Now, rather than make it boring and being on too long, basically I'll, he's talking about the bride, so then I'll skip to a couple of images of the bride. So you'll see how that's done well, here. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone here tonight to witness the marriage of Troy and Jody. Jody, you look absolutely beautiful. So I've just got this on the gimbal. So the first shot was a gimbal, so it was the A6500 on a gimbal. The second shot is handheld with the GH5. And Troy, I think the seat was a better option. Right? So then I'll often skip back to this. Now once he's now he's talking about the bride after that, so then I'm going to skip to the bride. My favourite quality about Troy is definitely how he makes me laugh. Now here I've mic'd um, Jodie up actually. You can see the lapel mic uh, sitting just there on her uh, dressing gown. And then because she's talking about Troy, her future husband, well then I, I change over and show him uh, getting ready. Every day we're laughing. Um, and his big heart, although he puts on a brave front, he's got the biggest heart and will do anything for anyone. This is where I'll start to show some of the uh, groom uh, details for the day. This is on a little slider. Um, there's other ones where I'm actually walking around with the um, uh, with the gimbal. Now 
Now, I've then switched over to the ceremony where the bride and groom are being introduced. I've mic'd up the celebrant here and I've also mic'd up the groom as well. Like I've got a, this is from the GH5 that was down the end of the aisleway. I'd like to welcome you all here today to witness the celebration of friendship, love and marriage of Troy and Jody. Uh, most I'm looking forward to about today. Now, I've then switched to Troy. You can see he's got the lapel on directly into the camera. He has probably seen her walk down the aisle for the first time. So you're gonna... And then because he's talking about Jody, I then switch to Jody's details. The wedding dress, I'm sure she's going to look amazing. Um, probably seen her walk down the aisle with her dad and our son Jackson. So, yeah, that, that's probably one of the most things I'm looking forward to. That's a slider just of the flowers that I've actually used there. And, uh, yeah, just seeing all family and friends. And this, just a gimbal of her touching her dress. This is where I've switched over to the, the more of dancey type song here. And then I'm going to switch straight after this to uh, the all the bridal uh, prep getting dressed or getting prepared to be ready. I tried to take a few shots where I could switch. If you notice there that when we look at that, um, so I'm switching here between that to, an, to another camera. like to try and make it a bit of fun with the girls. Now I've switched to uh, Jodie starting to get dressed here. So again, this is just with the GH5 handheld. This is the A6500 on the gimbal. These are all handheld with the GH5. The GH5 on tripod mode is insane how good the stabilization is on that camera. Again, this is just um, Jodie sort of sitting down. I wanted to, I asked her to look up towards me with her eyes. Again, I'm shooting stills at the same time. So basically I'll, I'll do it for stills and then I'll do the same thing for video. We then decided to move outside and then she asked me to uh, if I could photograph her and film her walking towards the car. So that's the next stage after this. This again is the A6500 on the gimbal. Now here I'm walking with two cameras here and that's the way I often work. I've got the gimbal in my left hand and the A9, Sony A9 in my right hand taking shots at the same time. This is just the gimbal with the A6500. Then I'm going to switch back to uh, the other father and mother. And again, I'm going to switch. He's, he's talking about Jody and Troy here, but then I'll switch to the uh, reception details here as well. So it gives me the ability to make this clip not go too long visually. He'll still have the audio underneath as you'll hear. Um, obviously we've known you a long time and um, finally come together. And, uh, so I'm just trying to get a few details here for the reception. He's grown up, been a great friend of Jody, great fiance, now a great husband. Now once this is finished I'll switch to the actual, uh, the groomsman coming to the wedding venue um, and also then the bride uh, walking down the aisle as well. So this is just showing the vehicles actually arriving. Now I didn't have time in the morning to show the groom getting ready so we decided that we'd just sort of do a mock sort of just getting ready here uh, at the wedding venue. Again, this was just showing the dad and the bride, Jody in the car. 
Now this is just me walking down the aisle here with the A6500 with the gimbal and I've also got the Sony A9 in my other hand. So the gimbal's in my left hand, my Sony A9's in the right hand. I've also got the GH5 on a tripod, uh, just a cat Basically, just outside the aisle there on the left-hand side is a safe shot, just in case if anything goes wrong. And the whole wedding ceremony is filmed with that GH5. Now, I'm shooting 4K, uh, so I can crop in if I need to. I'm then switching to, uh, obviously, the... Um, this is the, where the bride and groom are announced as husband and wife and they have a first kiss. So this goes a little bit longer uh, than what I normally would, but I wanted to sort of show this detail uh, in here. And like I said, the uh, celebrant's mic'd up and the groom's mic'd up. Jody, on behalf of all those present and by the strength of your own love, I pronounce you a married. Now you can see here the audio is taken down. If you look at my audio down the bottom there in the green, you can see that it's been dropped down. That's to enable the audio of the uh, speaker to, to be louder. Um, and I've just done that by adding a couple of control points and you can just drag the audio down. You may seal your vows with a kiss. Now straight after this is gonna be a group shot done. <laughs> Now and then into the formal part of the um, wedding. So we're going around the gardens actually of the winery. I just like to have a bit of fun with the bride and groom. Again, this is just a bit of movement. Again here, I, I just like movement all the time. I love them walking towards me, looking at each other. And I'll be doing this in the stills as well. That's what I love in my photography as well. Just that sort of journalistic look about them just walking and looking rather than just having direct poses. I then move to drone footage. That's just the, G uh, the Sony A6500 on the gimbal. We're then into the reception part of the day. Again, this is all with the GH5. Now this is with me with the A6500 and the A9 in the other hand, taking photos. My second shooter obviously is on the other side. Um, I've also got the GH5 here on the left hand side of uh, this image as well, doing a safe shot from there as well. So I do have multiple camera angles if I needed to get them. And we ended off with this. I'd just like to have a bit of a different image to finish off at the end. And then basically it will just cut to my Osler Images logo. Um, so that was the wedding. That, that's basically the highlight reel that I actually give them. Um, so let me know in the comments box down below, um, you know, if you'd like me to show more of this sort of stuff to you. Like I said, I am basically, uh, my, most of my work is, is the photography side of it, but this certainly has given me the ability to add an extra feature to my weddings. Uh, and it certainly has given me the ability to get more weddings because sometimes some couples have booked me because they would have initially, all they wanted really was a highlight reel and they would have had to hire a videographer uh, and a photographer as separate. Now they can hire me to do the one job at the one time. Um, the only thing I have on the day is I hire someone to actually lug the gear around because I have to have so much gear, uh, obviously audio, extra cameras, extra lenses, um, things like that, extra lighting. Um, that I'll, I hire someone just to do that. And I've also got a second shooter for photography with me all the time as well. So we do have still the two shooters in photography, uh, me doing the photography and video, and also someone to assist lugging the gear around. Uh, but yeah, if you can, so please give me a thumbs up. Uh, love you to subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in the comments box down below uh, if you'd like me to share more of this sort of stuff with you uh, as I grow this. And I'm getting better and better as I do more and more of these. The clients just love them. I've done a number of them and all the clients love them and I'm certainly getting better as, at it the more I do it. Um, so that's all for now guys so thanks and I'll see you all again later. Bye.